How you doing? Again, just a little quick episode on reloading and what's going on. Uh, some things I have found out myself just by trial and error that maybe I can save you a little bit of time and effort. Um, I was shooting federal shells and I reload double A's for sure too, but there's some, some key inherent differences between all the different shells. And here I have three shells from Federal, okay? I have the top gun for the women, uh, women's cancer uh, push, so that's the pink. Then I have the top gun, regular top gun from Federal. And then I have the field and stream or the target. One of the things I figured out with this is, is that they're all a little bit different. Now you'd say, okay, well, if you hold them up, you know, they look, they look all very, very close. They're not. And we'll just uh, kind of demonstrate that here. I'm going to turn my calipers on. I'm going to go, I'll put these shells down real quick. We'll go, this is the uh, field and the stream. And I'm going to measure to the crimp, okay? So to the start of the crimp is 2.270 inches, okay? Then we'll go to the Top Gun Women's, and that is... two point. Two seven, and then we'll go to the top gun. Of course, I picked up the wrong one. The top gun and the standard, and that's two point three two. So you can see the start of the crimps all vary on these different uh, different uh, shells. Now one of the, one of the things that I realized is is that again you got to have the right wad to fit in this the standard wad that uh, most everybody's using now is the clay buster and this wad's a, for the federal it's a great wad I've shot a bunch of these things but it is a little short for the top standard Top Gun uh, low, uh, shell. Now you go, eh, how could it be that far off? It is definitely that far off. Once you uh, compact it, get it, get the shot and the powder in there, it is definitely, you'll see the difference in length and they won't uh, crimp properly. So you'd have to go to a little bit longer um, wad or you'd have to put a spacer in there don't want to do that because I don't have enough time and I'm doing them quick so uh, I want to get the right hulls that are going to reload so if you notice these two which are the field and stream they came in very very similar where it in total length and so those will definitely take the uh, standard clay buster uh, federal wad now this is a one and an eighth ounce uh, shot capacity so most of us are shooting that right now anyway but this is the wad that would would work with that you can tell here I've reloaded this one it reloaded fine and then here's another field and stream and target and it reloaded fine. So you have to be careful with that because it's definitely an issue. And if you're not watching and you're collecting shells and all of a sudden you've got a bunch of shells you can't reload, it's a waste of your time. So what I'm gonna tell you is, is be careful with that. Again, if you're, if you're just pulling up from the, taking shells from the uh, range, one of the things that you're going to have to really look is your sizing on the on your metal here. What happens is is different shotguns have different 
diameters on the chamber. Okay, now they'll go, well, wait a second, the standard, the standard is this. Well, you're correct. There is a standard, but everybody kind of varies a little bit, and some may be, most are a little bit larger, not smaller, but larger, and minutely larger, that's okay, you know, a thousandths or whatever, but here's the issue. You take someone else's shell that's shot, and then you try to put it in your shotgun after it's already expanded, it's not going to load properly. So you need to make sure that your sizer on your reloader is really doing the job and sizing that down. And it's really easy to do and you check. Um, this shell is 0.808 standard is uh, 0 0.804 but so let's just drop this shell in to my sizer right here let's see what happens so it's gonna be a little tight oh doesn't go in okay so that tells you a that there's an issue the standard of course is is 0.804 so this needs to be resized in order to be able to hit the average chamber. Now I do use a, a, a shot shell checker. This is a Lehman. I picked it up. A Lehman, I'm sorry. I picked it up at uh, Midway USA. I think it's like 20 bucks worth every penny. If you're reloading, you should have one of these because you want to run through and check every 10th or 20th, uh, however you decide to do that shell, make sure that A, it's the right diameter, uh, B, that it's the right length, everything works. And so that's what I tell you to do is definitely buy one of these. Now I'm gonna pick up this, uh, this is uh, the fuel and stream right out of, my, out of my container, okay? It's too big also. All right, let's go to the top gun now. This is the, the top gun. It's too big too. So what that tells me is every one of these shells that I picked up at the range or my buddies gave to me, I'm going to have to make sure that I resize every one of them and re-verify to make sure that they're, they're uh, the right size. And that's why you need one of these. Also, you know, when you adjust your reloader, you need to make sure that they're going to change. And some are, once you get these sized and you shot them in your shotgun, you, once your size are set, you're not, you're not going to ever have to touch it again because it'll always just resize and keep it where it flows. But uh, I ran across some, time, some things when I was shooting wobble where I was shooting two shells and uh, one loaded and the next one would not because... The outside diameter of the of the shell hadn't been resized properly. I haven't run across that much of it with the double A's, but it still does happen. So you need to check that and see what's going on. Also, I do reload the Remingtons, and um, these are the gun Remington. The Gun Club is a pretty good shell to reload. Now, uh, you should, you can use the, um, the uh, federal wad in it, but I've had more, uh, just a little bit better luck with the standard AA wad. So, again, you're going to have to pick and choose. What I've done is, is, is I've started switching over to one size primer. And most of my uh, shells that I reload uh, fall within the, um, well, the point, uh, 0.245 to the point 0.242 <coughs> being the 0.242s being the Federals. I started using the Chedite uh, primer because... It's a little bit bigger. It runs about uh, 2.4. Uh, and so what I'm doing is, is I'm putting that into my Federals 
and it makes a real tight fit. But that way I can reload my double A's using the same primer and I can reload my Federals with the same primer. So kind of takes away some of the inventory issues. I hope this has been uh, important or good for you to understand what's going on. I'm figuring it out as I go and uh, hopefully I can kind of take some of the rough edges off.